Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started CSSF 2016 tutorial series, and already we have completed our the normal all kinds of shallow foundation design and analysis with detailing. So, and also I have uh, completed uh, designing and analysis different types of slab. Also, we have import slab from uh, eTabs to, to uh, CSSF. Okay. So, if you new here, you can watch our previous video. That link are given in description and uh, before uh, starting our deep foundation design and modeling with perfect analysis and detailing i am just uh, actually i just want to show that how will design our uh, shallow foundation when our foundation is not regular okay our foundation is not regular then how will go for that types of foundation i am just going to show that so in this lecture I'm just I'll just show that for isolated foundation if our foundation is not uh, symmetric okay then how will go for its design so first of all I'll open CSSF 2016 and uh, before starting I'm just requesting you if you new to our channel then subscribe us and also press the bell icon actually i will just not open it i'll close that if you're following me okay if you're following me or if you are uh, following our previous lecture then you know that in my first some lecture i have defined every types of materials and i have saved that model because uh, i just uh, don't want to waste your time and also my time to define or uh, to define every materials type or slab types several times that's why i have just uh, saver that file here okay so from that file i'll just automatically take our data and if you knew here actually in my every lecture i have just shown you that how we'll uh, define our different types of materials properties slab properties beam properties column properties our load uh, combination also so i have already completed that in my on lecture to reduce our time so I'll just take a copy of it copy and then I'll paste it here and I'll rename it I'll give its name SAS that means asymmetric isolated foundation okay so again now I'll go for go to our software and from that software I'll just open our file so this is our matte foundation file already have discussed I'll go desktop then here I'll here our asymmetric file then from here I'll just open our file so actually why I have opened that because here uh, suppose here materials properties I have defined the our required materials properties in our previous some lecture then here our soil properties actually I have done it because when I will uh, go for it then it will take huge amount of time that's why I have already defined it okay just here I will only one thing define add new properties actually with respect to our footing thickness you know that if you're following my lecture we have to define our column stiff so here it's 12 inch okay our footing thickness is 12 inch so i'll define our column stiff sorry add properties then column is stiff with 12 inch and here is stiff we have to select is stiff and okay actually i'm going fast because that everything already I have discussed with you now it's everything is okay if we go here load case here live load dead load it's also okay and for load combination just see here it's also okay actually I have defined everything in previous now I'll go for our foundation so before that we have to draw our grid system so grid data add or modify grid server so from global then click here edit or modify so here 
I'll give here first of all a okay I'll give our distance between a to b I'll just consider that will be uh, six feet and it's required in previous we'll change that then for b it will be zero okay now for here one I'll just give here uh, suppose it also will be six and it's zero feet so here is our grid then press ok and then ok now see here here is our grid ok here is our grid so if you want to remove the horizon from background just simply click here and hidden ok so it's done now we'll draw our footing here ok so to draw our footing here if we draw our footing so they have two type two way to draw our footing okay two way to draw our footing now suppose uh, by using that point draw quick footing so first of all I will just show you about that point so here I'll just uh, draw a footing okay with respect to a point so first of all I'll just give you a rectangular slab okay and not column is stiff it's isolated footing so from here this it's showing us footing uh, x dimension feet and y dimension in feet so what will the size of our footing suppose I'll consider our footing will be 6 feet into 6 feet okay then simply click on a point and your footing is ready here okay now I'll just close it the m important thing is in in my previous every lecture i have just shown you that we will draw a footing column at center of that footing okay i mean that will be symmetric footing okay and uh, now i'll draw a column step i mean uh, i'll just uh, give a column on it column location that will be eccentric or asymmetric okay and i'll design for that so they have two way actually to draw on that column step so from here first of all you have to consider that how much will be your footing size column size so our column size will be suppose our column size will be one feet okay our column size would be one feet into one feet i mean 12 inch into 12 inch after that we have to go here uh, draw then from here draw point so from here where actually we want to draw our column suppose if we want to draw our column in that point okay in that side then as our column is one feet okay I mean 12 inch into 12 inch then I will take a point in x direction from that point to 6 inch I mean it's all 0 0.5 feet right 0 0.5 feet then I'll just simply click here so here is our point now I'll just close that now again I'll go here draw a quick area around the point now from here slab from here I'll just select or stiff okay and it will be 1 feet into 1 feet right now simply click here now just see here our that column footing is I mean uh, our column step is ready with respect to that side actually uh, suppose uh, sometime we have we have a uh, plan in that way I mean we have a column layer in that way but we have no land available in that side in that time we have to design a column with foundation like that way right so here this is the one way and uh, they have another way actually suppose you need to draw a column here okay suppose uh, you have area you have area like that and in that corner you have no space available so you have to design a eccentric foundation okay with cantilevered foundation slab so here we will draw our column 
so how we'll just do it so from here we'll simply we'll close that and I'll press ctrl Z okay so I have uh, by pressing ctrl Z we're able to go undo now here uh, just I'll go here draw then I'll click here draw point now we'll take a point here so what will be our point actually so from in in that direction it will be zero, uh, six inch and in that direction it will be six inch then we'll take a point here so here uh, in x direction I'll just take a point 0 0.5 feet okay and from with respect to that point we have draw it here now I'll just give here 0 0 and in y direction I'll take in negative direction I mean in that direction it will be minus 0 0.5 okay now just simply click here and here is our point now I'll just close that and from here I'll draw a column strip around the point so this is column strip on fit on fit it's okay now simply click here just see here here is our column okay it's done so I'll just close it now our uh, column is ready with foundation okay so in our next video i'll just show you that how we'll apply load on it and also how will go for its design so thank you thank you very much s12 stay connected till next video and if you think that that was helpful for you please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon